on divorce court today. Can a DNA test hold a marriage together? Frank has doubts, but Lakita is sure he is the father of their six-month-old son, even though accusations of infidelity have plagued their relationship from the beginning. Lakita Cullison and Frank Cullison have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in divorce court starts now. Mrs. Collison, you've been married twice before. You're 31 years old, and the third time, unfortunately, is not the charm. You're back here again. Yeah. You want uh, me to help you with some financial items, but you also have additional concerns because you're currently pregnant, yeah. and your husband is questioning the paternity of the six-month-old son he has with you already, correct? Correct. We are going to resolve the paternity issue because we had a paternity test taken. Uh, but I'm going to start with you, Ms. Cullison. Why do you think you've been married three times and it's failed three times at 31? I was young, and I wanted somebody to love me. I mm -hmm. wasn't trying to get married. I didn't understand marriage mm -hmm. when I was younger. I got with the guy. They swept me off my feet, made me feel like a princess, spoiled me. So when they, I demanded towards them, we're going to get married. They never really asked me. I, now you told them. I told them, we're yeah. going to get married. That's what we're going to do. And if you don't want to do it, hit the road. And they did. Yeah, they married me. Did, did she do that to you, Mr. Cullison? Um, not so much. Not so much? No. Did you ever get to ask? Um, not like on one knee, but in a, in a certain way. Yeah. You didn't feel rushed, bullied, or otherwise? No, not at all. Okay, good enough. So what is the, what is your primary issue with Mr. Cullison? Um, that he listens to his friends too much. He don't really respect and care for me as much as he used to. And the fact of him denying my child, our child, our six-month-old, Frankie Jr. Mr. Cullison, what are your friends saying? Just about her past, her, mm -hmm. um, her well, What are they telling you? Um, that they don't think he's mine. And, that and they based that soon. upon what? It happened too soon. It happened too yeah. soon. Yeah, I was, this is my first son. I was 32 years old. I didn't have no kids prior to that. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, it's kind of funny. All of a sudden, she comes, she gets pregnant. So they're not offering an opinion about her moral character. It's like a medical opinion, you know? It's like, you haven't had any yet? Yeah, yeah. Based upon your medical history and the speed with which she uh, uh, conceived, they believed it couldn't be yours. Yeah, well... Or, or it could. A couple friends and, you know... When Anything get, other than that? Because when, that's... When we get in arguments a couple of times, she had thrown that out there. I was like, well, I'm going to take my son and leave. And she was like, well, is that really your son? Do you do that? Well, yeah. But I never said that be when I was pregnant. I never said that. It's when his friends and family started saying it towards me. And I heard it so much. He said, well, I'm going to leave and go stay with my family. I said, the way I said it was, are you sure you want to take a baby that's not yours? Isn't that what everybody says? I see what you're that's saying. That's how I, I said it. Uh -huh. What would you be arguing about when, when, when he would have to take off and go to his parents? Um, him not complimenting me, not holding me or kissing me, not treating me like a wife. He Is this news to you? Have um, you no. heard the, these no. complaints before? All the time. Okay. Tell me... What she complains about when and why? Everything? If you know. Or just what she just said. Or everything. Did you, let's just start with what she just said. Well, when we, we've known each other since we've been kids. Mm -hmm. um, we got back, like we got around each other almost two years ago. And uh, she, was always, she always had her hair done, always nice clothes. And then once we got married, she, turned, she went from Beyonce to the frumpy Don King. That's quite the fall. Uh, like this? You see how she looks now? She yeah. hasn't looked like this since Valentine's Day. So you're saying to me that your uh, failure to compliment her and tell her she's beautiful is a function of that she just looks jacked up all the time and she's not taking care of herself. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. 
does he have a point there at all that you, you, you've let yourself go and don't take care of yourself and hence he doesn't seem I, the need to say you're attractive? Well, yeah, he does. Well, I stay pregnant all the time. So who feels like getting dressed up and doing their hair and nails? I was never... You know, they got, they got stuff you can do about not getting That's pregnant. That's why I got her a ponytail. You know what I mean? You, they, they really got a whole bunch of different... At the drugstore, you can go to the doctor. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do for that not to just happen to you all the time. You, you hip to that? Yes, I understand. You know what I mean? Yes. You, do you intend on using it at any point in time? Well, yeah, after this one. <laughs> did you not want to have this one? No, I did. I, when Frankie came into the marriage, he had no kids, and he... And you already had... I had two kids prior, Two kids. And, uh... He tucked them in. He welcomed them as a stepfather. He was good to them and, like, his, his family and everybody just persisted on him having a kid. And I said, well, then let's just do it. So I went out and I bought an ovulation kit to plan this pregnancy with his son. And uh, I got pregnant. I went to the hospital. They told me I was pregnant. They said I was early along. I came home and I told him. He jumped up. He was very happy. He didn't seem like... This he... is about your son, the, old, the one you already had. Yes, Frankie Jr. You mean to tell me you're questioning a, the paternity of a child you actively tried to have? Yeah. Just, just because what she has said and a lot of other people. But if you're trying to climb a mountain... and you're climbing a mountain, climbing a mountain, climbing a mountain, you get to the top... And somebody hollers down from the bottom, hey, you can't climb that mountain. Would you believe them? I mean, you were trying to climb the mountain. Why are you surprised that you're up on top of that mountain? Just from how she said, is that your son? Is that really your son? Or... But that was after they had started questioning it, and you were going to leave, and she was throwing a jab at you. She shouldn't have done it. But there's no rational reason for well, you Well, to... she was pregnant, and she said that once or twice. And then everyone else is saying it, so why wouldn't that be in the back of my mind? How would everybody else know anything? It's a small town. <laughs> they, do you think that they've seen her with other guys or something? Is that what they're telling you? Couple people. Next, is there any truth to either Lakita or Frank's accusations of workplace romance? If the ink on your marriage license is barely dry, but you're ready to call it quits, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Real life, real relationships, real solutions. Divorce Court continues. I'm stuck on the why you would believe it part. Did it come from somebody that a trusted close friend? Did it come from... Where did it come from? Well, there was an example where um, she was with a friend of mine for like 18 years, and she said that she's seen her kissing a certain somebody while she was pregnant. Okay. Do you know what, she's, what he's talking about? Were you this... kissing on somebody while you were pregnant? Uh, no. Do, do you know how the rumor got started? Yes. Tell me that. Um, I used to hang out with one of my exes. I was with this person, hanging out with this person before me and Frankie got married. So he knew that I was I gotcha. always hanging I gotcha. out with this person. It's I nothing gotcha. that I hid. So, so, so when the rumor started and it, it fell on him, I get it. I get yes. it. Mr. Collins, you say, despite your concerns about uh, the paternity of the child, that Mrs. Collison is very jealous of you. Yes. Tell me some of the things that she's done that have hampered your marriage as a function of her jealousy. Well, I can't get a job. Because? Because I usually work in, like, restaurants and hotels. There's too many women there. Do you preclude Mr. Cullison from having and becoming employed in a place that has women? Yes. I do. How are you going to do that in a free society? <laughs> I mean... I... 
you know, you could you could go places where women and men don't mix, and, and, and it would be a perfectly reasonable request. But here, women can go wherever they want to, and how is it you're going to limit him to a job where he won't be around women? It's not that I, I don't trust him around other women. I just don't trust him working around his ex-women. Oh, There's a his difference. Ex is, are her concerns limited to those women you have already dated? I yeah, mean, like, like girls that from like when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. nothing recent. She I mean, you were girls. hanging around exes right before yeah. you dated every him. Time you're on, yeah. Every time we get in an argument, she would call her ex to come pick her up. Would you do that? Yes, I would. Don't you see that as a bit of a double standard? Before she I got pregnant want and after. He doesn't want these women. And he's telling you that. Why don't you believe him? Because he gets on his Facebook and call them gorgeous. He left his Facebook open. I looked on that computer and I seen he was talking to these ex-girlfriends, calling them gorgeous and beautiful. Did you and say anything appropriate to exes? I've been calling them that since I've been 10 years old. I think it's innocent on your part. I really do. But here's the thing. Once you get married, some things that you used to do, you just can't do anymore because yeah. it makes your spouse uncomfortable. Because that's your spouse. I will say that. Number two, if you're looking for an insult, if you're looking for a problem, if you're looking for a concern, you'll find them. Whether they're there or not, you will find them. If your mind <laughs> is set on being hurt and, and you're being distrustful, no matter what he says, innocent or not, you're going to find something damaging in it. And then you're going to pound him on the head with it. And, and you seem like you're convinced of it. When divorce court continues, DNA test results revealed. Will the answer bind this couple together or tear them apart? Do you believe Frank has a good reason to question the paternity of Lakita's baby? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now, 1-800-282-1991. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. You guys got a six-month-old at home. You're pregnant now. There's a whole lot wrong here, and I know what most of it is. Uh, I, I'm not getting to the money yet, because I want to ask you a question. And Mrs. Collison, I want to know, do you love Mr. Collison? With all my heart, yes. And you want to stay married? Yes, I do. You clearly want him to remain in the children's lives of their father, even if this, this marriage does not survive, correct? Yes. Mr. Collison, I'm going to ask you the same thing. Do you love her? Very much. Did you at all feel, ever, that you got pushed into a marriage you weren't ready for? No. Do you really not trust her? I mean, people can say anything, but has she done anything? Has she, have you seen anything? Has she gone places and, you know, absented herself? What has she done physically that causes you not to trust her? When we first moved back to where we live now, um, she was gone every day for about three weeks. She would go out every day. I'd be home with the kids. And was she going, uh, like, out clubbing or something? No, she was with one of her girlfriends, riding around, going to sit at someone's house. And then, and now she's pregnant again. Mm -hmm. Were you, you kind of, were you living a, a, a liquid life? And I don't mean alcohol. I mean, just one where you just kind of ended up where you ended out. You contain, you go over here, go to this person's house, go over there, you know. Is hanging about all day long without any particular purpose or direction? Were you living a liquid life? Yes, I did go out and hang out with my friend. We took him with us, too. He's not mentioning that. He went with us, too. Yeah, like But twice. he just wanted to sit at the house all the time, and we had to sit there. And I got so bored. Well, do and you I'm... guys work? No, I don't work. You should, if you're bored. <laughs> well, do you go to school? No. Let me tell you something. They don't say that the idle mind is the playground of the devil for no reason. If you got nothing to do, the world will do things to you. 
you got to be headed somewhere. You can't just lay in, in, in the Colorado River and not expect to be taken downstream. You actually have to swim in order to keep whatever's happened around you from depositing you somewhere you never intended to be. And I don't know what you think your career path or your job is, where you're headed for. You know what I mean? Are you headed anywhere? Recently, I found out that I'm legally blind. Then, then are you going to school to learn Braille or whatever it is that you, or I go the to... enhanced computer enhancements or whatever you need to function as, as effectively you, as you can in a world in which you cannot see well? Blind Association came over to my house recently and signed me up. They're going to teach me how to use the computers and whatnot and well, try that's to get good. me to that's feel good. like that. But, but stop riding around in the car. You want to know if this baby's yours or not? Absolutely. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Are you really nervous? A little bit. I'm not nervous, but I guess it's not my kid, but... Look to your right and repeat after me. Darling, darling, I am so sorry. I am so sorry that I ever questioned that I ever questioned the paternity of my son. The paternity of my son. Okay. Talk is cheap, Mr. Collison. Talk is really, really cheap. And just because you hear the same thing from a whole lot of different places doesn't mean it's true. It mm -hmm. means a good lie got around. Good lies travel quickly, you know, often more quickly than the truth. Yeah. So, so, so you have to, you got a relationship with her, not whomever may be around on the block, out on the corner and all this kind of stuff. You resolve your stuff at home. You're so happy about that. I am so <laughs> glad that you are happy. Look at that smile. It was worth the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something, Mrs. Cullison. I have heard similar conversations from people in high school about what it is, you know, ah, so-and-so said about so-and-so, and we was riding in the car, and we were up and down the street, and he said this about that, and when I got mad, I said, yeah, that isn't his son, all of that nonsense. You, you walk into a marriage, we look it up his, his social media page, well, this said this, and this said this, and he can't go to this job because I can't trust him. Marriage is nothing without trust. It's just one long investigation. If you are woman enough to understand that, he can be places and go places and, and talk to people and that he's still faithful to you because he hasn't shown any signs that he isn't. You have to be woman enough to allow that. The failure is yours, not his, if you're, you're feeling unsafe because he hasn't done anything, right? Well, I caught him walking with another female when he told me he was going to his brother's house. I walk down the street with guys all the time. Good God. What, what, what do you want? I don't understand what marriage is to you guys these days, that they absolutely, like that you have to be cloistered once you're, you're married, that you, 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 you can't have any contact, any contact with the opposite sex is a sexual thing? Walking down the street? Come on! Ain't nobody sleeping around. But, not, but since we've been married, you know, you know what my day consists of? I get up, I get the baby dressed, I feed him, I get the other children up, feed them, cook her breakfast, do the laundry, clean the bathroom, scrub the floors, vacuum, dust. Who asked you to do that? I do all that. You know where she is? In Go her ahead. recliner, watching divorce court. Did you hear what? Oh, well. <laughs> that, that's so. Did you hear what she just said? She said, who asked you to do that? What a fool are you? You got a man who helps around the house, he does everything he needs to do. You're sitting on your behind doing nothing at all, and you're gonna talk about who asked you to do that. I His too. dignity asked him to do that. His manhood told him to do that. His love for you required him to do that. You better show up a woman, because you're just a little girl right now, and I think it's just terrible. I hope you two stay married, because he, they need a grown person in their lives, and I don't think you qualify. There will be no recovery in this matter.
Frank and Lakita have taken the judge's ruling to heart and are working to leave all of the relationships before they met out of their future together. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.